Hey there, I'm Mastin Kip, founder of thedailylove.com and author of the book, Daily Love, Growing Into Grace. Welcome to Daily Love TV. Today, I want to talk about finding time to work on your goals. One of the things that we hear all the time from people, one of their top frustrations is, you know what, Mastin? I want to go out there and live my purpose and really, you know, lose weight or I want to, you know, really just have an incredible, you know, business or romantic life or whatever my goal might be. I just can't seem to find the time. And so today I want to talk about finding time to work on your specific goals because if you're like a lot of people that read this website, you might spend a lot of time focused on other people's goals. But what I want to talk to you today about is your goals and specifically time that it takes to make your goals happen. Because the reality is you and I, anyone who, any human being on the planet has the exact same 24 hours in a day. So it doesn't matter who it is. It might be, you know, it might be Beyonce. It might be Oprah. It might be anyone you look up to. We all have 24 hours in a day. And it's how you prioritize those 24 hours that counts. So here's what I do. Okay, first of all, I get really clear on, well, what are the things that are my priorities? So for right now, my priorities are my relationship, my health and wellness and exercise, and my business and my writing. So those in that order, my relationship, my health and wellness, my business and my writing. And so when I look at my week, I put those in my calendar first and foremost. Now, if you have a job, I'm an entrepreneur, so I can schedule my day, but if you have a job, Obviously, you have to schedule your nine to five, whatever that might be. But when you really look at how you spend the rest of your time in the morning or in the evening or in the, or in the weekends, you can find time, an hour here, an hour there to pull back and to, you know what, say no to other people so you can say yes to yourself. But you want to schedule your priorities first. So if you're a creative, you want to schedule the writing or the singing or whatever it might be that's creative for you. If you want to have, if you have a business on the side that you want to grow, you got to schedule time for that in the morning or at night. But you have to start to schedule your time because if you don't schedule something, it's not real. And then you have to keep your commitment to yourself and not cave. Because the reality is the world will always ask you for, it's for your attention. Other people, you'll be interrupted all the time, but you have to fight for the time for your specific goals. Now, if you don't know exactly what your goals are, you can think about what are the things that you're most scared to do? What are the things that you're most scared to do? Maybe it's open up and be vulnerable, start a blog, start a business, raise your prices, spend, you know, really spend time with your family, whatever it might be. Because you know, I know some people, it's like if I spend time with my family, I can't build my business. But the reality is, you can find time for all of it if you schedule it and make it happen and put your priorities first. And then most importantly, not just putting your priorities first, look at your life today and think about who have I overextended myself to? Who have I overpromised to, right? Because you might think to yourself, well, I want to be in integrity, so I have to keep on my commitments. But another way to stay in integrity is to call someone or email them or text them or Facebook them and say, you know what, I know I made this promise to do X, but I can no longer do that because my priorities have shifted and I recognize that I've broken my word to you, but that is how I have to move forward and that's okay. Because to find time, see the thing is, I don't like, I work out three times a day now. And on Instagram, people will come to me and say, Mastin, how do you have time to do that? You're so lucky. It's like, no, I get up earlier, I go to bed later, and I find the time, I make it and I schedule it and I have to fight for it because the world will always interrupt you when you are trying to find time to do what's best for you. And then the other thing is, is that I also highly recommend, unless your job depends on it, I don't check email before 11 a.m., not necessary. I start my day with exercise, with prayer, with meditation, with my relationship, so that I can be fully present and fully alive to what matters most and then take that presence and go into my business. See, I started my business to find freedom and what happened for a long time is that my business was shackling me down because <clears throat> I was a slave to email and other people's priorities. But when I decided to start setting boundaries with other people, putting my priorities first, checking email later in the day, taking time for myself in the morning, getting up earlier, not pushing the snooze button, all of a sudden, a different level of mastery emerged in my life. And that is really what I wish for you. So this is about setting boundaries with others, scheduling your priorities, scheduling the things that scare you, and then keeping your commitment and word to yourself that you're going to do this and renegotiating your commitment with others. Now, I've said a lot in this very short video, but you might be watching this video over on Facebook or YouTube. My request is you hop on over to thedailylove.com 
And below this video, leave a comment. Who are you going to set boundaries with? What are you going to schedule? What are your priorities going to be? How are you going to start your morning? Can you push back checking email till later? How can you schedule your priorities? And if you're someone who has done all this, if you've rearranged your life, taken your power back from tech and email and really put your priorities first and set those boundaries, what are your success stories? I love hearing success stories too because we got a lot of people who are struggling. They don't really know how to schedule and I'm adding value here, but your stories help as well. So I'd encourage you as well to head on over to thedaylove.com and leave a comment and leave your success story in the comments too because I really do believe that together we can grow into who we are meant to be. My deepest wish is that you get out there, find courage, take action, and make it real. We'll see you next week.